歡迎翻到嚟節目時間。根據 YouTube 嘅資料顯示，使用佢哋網站嘅人數超過十億，佔咗互聯網使用者人數近三分之一。咁而喺手機上能夠接觸到十八至三十四歲同十八至四十九歲觀眾嘅比率，比起美國任何一間電視台仲要高。公司亦都話喺 YouTube 上每年賺取六位數字收益嘅頻道數量，比起舊年增加咗百分之五十。用戶除咗簡單撳一個叫 m o n e t i z a t i o n 嘅獲利嘅掣，以上載短片形式嚟到賺錢之外，咁仲可以用啲乜嘢方法嚟到去獲得收入呢？我哋繼續睇睇。既係撰稿員同編劇，又係導演同監製，同時又係攝影師，又要做演員同聯絡人，管理自己 YouTube 頻道同製作短片嘅呢兩位年輕人都一腳踢。Me and Jeremy are friends, and we've been making videos for many years now. We first met in university. We had a mutual interest in cars, and eventually evolved to making sweet documentaries and comedy. Brian 除咗拍攝 YouTube 短片之外，亦都係自由身職業攝影師。而 Jeremy 正職就喺物流公司工作。佢哋兩個係喺兩年前左右開始認真製作 YouTube 短片，以 Life of Brian 命名，希望以類似電影製作嘅形式呈現自己嘅生活片段。We start with like、uh, we went to places and talk to people, make fun of people, right? Yeah, we started off with kind of like vlogs, so kind of like day-to-day things, and we would also go to events、uh, and talk to people and kind of、uh, be a bit of a troll, just make get answers from people that are funny. 佢哋兩個製作嘅唔少短片都同加拿大亞洲人有關，例如諷刺列治文司機揸車技術欠佳，又或者自嘲某啲華人孤寒嘅概念。呢兩位華裔年輕人都欣然接受自己嘅身份。See, we grew up from around here. We are we're from like Richmond and Vancouver, so we kind of like know all the spots. We know like E Spot, Number Three Road, Lansdowne Mall. We're from here, so we really like to like position ourselves as being local YouTubers. And、uh, we don't see too many people doing that. We we know there are other YouTubers like Peter Chow or Linda D. They're all from here, but、uh, we'd really like to embrace the fact that we're we're from the streets. You know, we represent Richmond. Six o four. Yeah, six o four. 咁佢哋嘅屋企人又点样睇佢哋成为网络红人呢 ？Well, I'm still doing YouTube, but I'm still you know haven't got you know kicked out of my house yet. So yeah, he's still, still lives, going. Yeah, still lives in that house. I still live at home, guys. Six o four. Um. Right. So,、um, since I'm an Asian,、uh, I have Asian parents, right? So Asian parents like it's the, all the stereotypes. They want you to be a doctor or a lawyer, but、uh, my parents are very open-minded. They're kind of like, and I'm a really strong personality. I, I just stick with what I want to do. So whenever I decided I wanted to become a filmmaker, I was just like, I'm just gonna make films. 除咗用拍摄短片嚟分享快乐，佢哋亦都希望其他年轻人坚持做自己中意做嘅嘢。I'm an Asian and I'm in the creative field, and you know, having Asian parents, they'll always tell you to become a doctor or a lawyer. And honestly, there are a lot of alternative paths like filmmaking and stuff like that. And I feel that if you're passionate enough with your passion, maybe it's YouTubing or filming or streaming, doing something creative, I think you should stick with it. And if you like it and enjoy it, other people will really get drawn to that energy. And then maybe later on you can make something out of that. The value that you have and the lessons that can be learned about hard work and about、um, striving for a goal and running and moving towards your passions, you know, these are very valuable things. And you know, what happens on the screen, as 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 everybody knows, is seems very easy, but there's a lot of work that goes into making things look easy. 雖然網絡紅人可以靠拍攝短片嚟到賺錢，但係 Brian 同 Jeremy 就認為熱誠同能夠做到中意嘅嘢更加重要。The channel is more about passion, so we all have our own job. It's not, it's not really about making money. So if we feel like we're gonna do something, we're gonna do it. it most of the time, the money comes out from me and Brian's own pocket. Since we're、uh, into filmmaking, we have a lot of different cameras. As you can see, this is my big gimbal. I've got a small gimbal, and of course, my trusty normal. Camera right here. How much does camera each cost?、Uh, it's a good question.、Um, this one, when it first came out, was like fifteen thousand dollars. I got it for a way cheaper price. This whole thing here might be three thousand ish, <laughs> and this one would be about a thousand something. Who cares how much these things cost, man? They're expensive. This is why we don't make any money when we make YouTube videos, because we we bring all this expensive <laughs> stuff. It costs a lot to make videos. YouTube 早喺二零零七年開始可以賣廣告，而
。而福布斯嘅报道指出，全球赚最多钱嘅 YouTube 明星，而家拥有超过五千二百七十万人订阅嘅频道飘大派，喺二零一五年赚取咗税前一千二百万美元。网络红人唔单止靠网站所俾嘅收益赚钱，有啲人喺具有一定知名度之后，有机会接受一啲公司赞助，同埋利用自己嘅社交平台帮一啲公司或者机构卖广告，嚟收取可观嘅酬劳。要做到咁，唔一定要拍出世界级电影水平嘅影片，打机都一样可以打出一片天。今年二十六岁嘅唐汉家 Michael， 七八年前开始专业咁样打机，参与 e-sports， 即系电子竞技，主要玩 League of Legends 英雄联盟嘅佢，曾经加入唔同嘅专业队伍全职打机，为比赛需要，佢亦都周围搬同到世界各地参赛。一开始是最初是搬到西雅图，然后后来当然就是 California， 然后呢也有在韩国待待过，好像快一年。然后就后来就再回来。当年喺玩家串流自己打机俾人睇，仲系啱啱开始嘅时候，佢就俾人睇中实力，同串流网站签合约。以前主要开始就是，人家来找我们说，诶、哎，要不要试试看？我们就说，哦，行啊，反正你给我们钱，我们本来就在玩了嘛，对不对？就按一个 button 就可以，也是 stream also stream meanwhile， 所以没什么问题啊，有什么大不了的话，可以让人家。Like follow your progress, like 看你玩，然后你可以 play advertisements， 然后就会有 revenue, ad revenue。佢话而家嘅电子竞技发展到有专业团队跟进玩家嘅起居饮食同心理健康，同普通体育运动员相差无几。咁同佢当时就好唔同。喺二十年前、十五年前就有 e-sports 有在比赛，但是当然那时候的奖金啊，什么东西啊，就当时是玩的，当然去玩一玩的，不是没有，不是。A real profession， 你知道，所以呢，没有什么特别多的被照顾的队伍，有什么 psychologist， 队伍有什么 cook， 队伍有的什么 manager， 这些就就就大概每不同的队就五个人，自己随便取个自己名字给自己玩，然后就去玩一玩。人工亦都由以前每个月四千到六千美金，跃升至几万蚊。有啲知名嘅玩家甚至可以达到每年一百万美元，同埋获得赞助。这些 headset 啊，键盘，还有一些在楼上别的地方的很多，以前有，这些全全都是 sponsor 给的东西，然后一大堆，这些都是旧的，就是现在用用都有用都有新的，像队伍的队伍的的 branded 的 gear 啊，队队伍 branded 的的数数牌啊。靠喺网上直播打机打出名堂，变成网络红人嘅 Michael， 而家冇再好似以前咁职业性咁玩，而佢对所有赢翻嚟嘅奖项都好多唔记得晒。二零一二年赢的，在啊德国 Klon 赢的，呃，这个就是，这个就是好像是这个的 ，Yeah， 这个好像是这个的，应该是，这个是在广州赢的。以前的大致上就是一万、两万、三万最最多，现在就很很多，有到几十万、几百万。Sponsor 呢，看到队伍有 exposure， 然后 sponsor 呢就会跟队伍的 owner make deals， 哎，给你们多少钱，给你们什么什么 benefit， 给你们什么什么样的 access， 然后让你们来 put our name out there in any way on any platform。咁網絡紅人嘅出現對廣告市場有冇影響咧？彭偉明 Dennis 嘅市場營銷及公關公司喺二零一一年成立，而家有七成半嘅工作喺電子市場營銷同埋社交媒體上面，包括幫助公司揾網絡紅人嚟做推廣。Traditional media, let's say you're advertising on TV, you don't know who's on the other side of that watching it. Whereas, you know, with influencer marketing, especially. Um, you know, influencers have obviously built up uh, uh, a large size of an audience a lot of times, and so that audience is very specifically following them for um, their specific style or personality or whatever. So, you know, as a brand, if you can align yourselves um, uh, to the right type of influencer, then it allows you to really uh, be able to reach a large amount of people in a, you know, fairly in inexpensive way. 喺唔同社交媒體揾網絡紅人嚟做推廣，除咗因為可以一呼百應，亦都因為容易獲得即時嘅數據，繼而做具針對性嘅推廣工作，提升效益。
And one of the strategies that they have with social media that's very different from legacy media is that they have data on everybody watching, when they're watching, where they're watching, what they're watching, and who is watching. So they use this data and mine it to figure out how to target advertising uh, to individuals, like we would call it customization of advertising. Dennis 表示，市場投資喺網絡紅人做推廣，大概喺十年前開始並持續上升。In terms of percentages, I would say 75% of marketers are currently involved in some sort of influencer marketing,、um, and 60% of them、um, are, are wanting to increase their spending、uh, within the next 12 months or so.、Uh, for us, I would say within the last two years, we've definitely noticed a steady increase in our clients'、uh, spending for、uh, towards influencer campaigns. Dennis 話：未來嘅廣告市場將會移向微型紅人，例如一啲追隨者人數唔到一千人嘅普通人，因為朋輩之間流傳推銷內容嘅可信性更高。I think、um, there's a lot of value in working with micro influencers because a they can be very low cost, b、um, you know you can work it in a way where it doesn't have to seem like it's a sponsored post or an ad.、Um, and generally, I would say like people do trust. There, there's more trust around people that you actually know and、um, you know are friends with or something like that. 佢相信当中十八至三十五岁嘅年轻人比例将会较高。I think if you're especially talking about millennials, millennials tend to、um, only trust about three percent of traditional advertising. Whereas you know if they're getting recommendations and word of mouth、uh, through social media, through influencers or blogs or you know Yelp reviews or whatever. Uh, they tend to trust that about 33% of the time. 教授就话，虽然每个社交平台都有兴衰，但佢都认同喺未来以网络红人嚟推广产品同服务嘅方式会继续蓬勃发展。You have all these people that are all of a sudden able to broadcast themselves and every little interest that they have, and there's people out there and audience to watch them. It's not a 10 million person audience like the most popular television shows, but it can be a 10,000 person audience. And to, and to advertisers, this is significant, and this is part of the niche. 好啦，今集节目时间又差唔多，观众如果有任何意见，可以电邮俾我哋。想睇翻今集节目，可以上网重温。多谢收睇，再会。